Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. And it is 2 p.m. I think. Almost 2 p.m. Um, today's Friday, so I don't work my part-time job. I take this day to do like content creation for my personal stuff. I don't know if I told you guys the update on my dad's car, but if you didn't see my past vlogs, I got two flat tires in my dad's car while I was borrowing it. So I had to get it towed to the Tesla Decatur place and I was staying at my mom's because I thought I was going to be done because my mom lives closer to Decatur so I thought I was going to be done in like within a day. They were literally not answering any of our calls. We left so many messages um, and then the date got pushed back because like you can call and get an automated like message telling you when your car is going to be done but the date got pushed back so I was like okay I need to like go to the Decatur store and just be like what the heck is going on someone please just like update me and answer your questions by the time I got there the service people were gone so they couldn't even give me an update but they gave me like a direct phone number to call so the next morning I called and the car apparently needed a whole new battery or something the part isn't even going to come until like two weeks so the car is going to be there for two weeks I literally don't understand how they didn't even like tell me or my dad or like I just don't understand that um and i was the one that had to ask for the loaner car like they didn't even offer it which was like kind of surprising too so anyways i picked up the loaner car today because i had to get there by four and i like clock out of work at four so i couldn't do it this week but i finally got the car we're all good and now it is time to do my makeup i want to film a lot of tiktoks today i always say that and then i just like never do because i never know what to film but i just feel like i'm not posting consistently and that's like the number one thing of like growing any platform is you have to post consistently so i'm not even doing like the major things so we definitely need to get back on track with that first thing i need to do obviously do my makeup i actually already did my hair this morning and i'm waiting for this video to upload the wi-fi is being so slow right now i don't know why but um yeah so today is just gonna be a content creation day fridays are just always content creation days later tonight me and ryan are actually gonna hang out i did want to show you guys this mirror in the light because i promised you guys i would in the last vlog so this is what it looks like i actually just cleaned it this morning because there was like all these smudges on it and it has like this wood finish let's go over this side has more light and this mirror was only a hundred bucks which honestly for a mirror this big is really good but of course only when i brought it home did i realize that there was just some random issues with this mirror like i don't know that just looks really bad and weird from the side but i mean it's not like anyone can really tell and i forgot to do my video settings so there we go at least we fixed it at the beginning of this vlog. Before I get into my makeup, I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Not that it's anything really that special. Actually, never mind. Let me not downplay this because these are my new favorite pants, leggings kind of thing. Um, this is my Raquel Flair leggings from Splits 59. And they are so freaking cute. They're so flattering. I love them to death. They're perfect for lounging. And then I have this champion hoodie. I'll link all this down below. And I've been wanting this for forever just because like the nude color. And I feel like I'm just really making my wardrobe like all nude. It's funny because I'm doing laundry today for the first time in so long. It's really weird to be doing my own laundry because usually I'll just like do Ryan since he's there in my house. Obviously he lives with me. But all of my clothes are either like nude white or like black <laughs> it's just so funny because like I feel like in a year I'm gonna not even have like a colors pile this is my outfit I need to stop procrastinating I'm gonna do my makeup now um and oh another update let me just procrastinate some more I did use the tanning drops again and they worked this time because I used like the whole like syringe like it's like a dropper kind of thing and i use like all of that so the bottle or the instructions i'm pretty sure it said like start with like one two drops but that's like not going to do anything for my skin at least so i use like that whole thing and it actually made me look really tan in the face and i like it because like especially i was taking a snapchat in the car earlier and my skin looked like so sun-kissed and really really nice very even honestly in person it does look a little bit patchy but i feel like no one would really notice but me so an update on the tanning drops i like them and i think i'm going to continue to use them but it's so funny because i had three best friends in college and they were all white and they would always get spray tans 
and they would tell me that their spray tan smelled like syrup and I just never understood what that meant because I didn't really like smell it. I don't know, it's so weird. But now that I wear a mask, I literally can smell my face and it has the same exact smell that they were like trying to explain to me this whole time. The product itself doesn't really smell, but I think after it like develops, it smells, I don't know. It's not like the worst smell in the world, but just a heads up, you might smell like syrup. <laughs> I have two cons about that damn sweatshirt. First of all, it's really hot because it's actually like has a bit of a fleece lining in it. But secondly, it leaves like all the fuzzes on, which maybe it won't happen over time, especially if, like if I wash it, but that's annoying. Um, I started off with the Laura Mercier foundation primer because the Sephora lady was like, you gotta use something hydrating underneath, especially because my skin's so dry. I don't think I'll do a full makeup routine. I'm just kind of like in a chatty mood, to be honest. But if you guys are looking for a full makeup routine, I have one on my Instagram TV. Go check that out because it's like everything I pretty much do, except for the eyeshadow change, but like nothing really major. I literally just do like, a normal brown eye, so not missing out on much. But I wish I could get better at wings. And I ordered stuff on Glossier and it's still on its way. And my favorite eyeliner is in that package. And I'm like, can you hurry up? Because I want to practice my wing liner again. And also my set active stuff is still not here. And like I get it, they're probably like going crazy with the amount of orders they're getting because they had really really good sales but still I just want my stuff you know it's honestly so bad to say but especially with Amazon Prime being a thing and like you get your packages in like two days or like the day of when you order the package it's so hard to wait for normal packages you're just used to them coming so fast so you expect it to come fast unfortunately that's not how it is I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the color 12 Cool. This foundation is like seriously so freaking good. It makes my skin look so amazing. In my IGTV, I talk more about like all the things I love about this foundation. So again, go watch that. But seriously, I cannot say enough good things about this. And I haven't used a high-end foundation in so long. And it just makes me want to like try out other foundations because I'm like, ooh, if this is so good, I wonder if there's something even better out there. From Charlotte Tilbury, I don't think I mentioned that. This is the completed look for today. I kind of went a little heavier on the eye makeup because yesterday I did it a little too simple and I looked just funky. I don't know why, but I think my eyelids just need a little bit of like a darker shadow, so kind of went a little bit darker today, but seriously, it doesn't even look that dark. Now it's time to create content, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a couple of TikTok hacks throughout the day, or I don't know how I want to do this yet, but I feel like so many people are not on TikTok for themselves. Like, they just, like, scroll, which is totally fine, and, like, obviously I love TikTok too, but TikTok is so beneficial, especially if you guys are wanting to start your own brand or, like, a small business or something like that. This platform, like, I have not grown this fast on any other platform, like, throughout my seven years or I don't know how long I've been doing this shit, but I've been on YouTube, Instagram, um, what else? Like, Pinterest, um, I don't know. I can't really think of anything else. I'm sorry. There's like birds downstairs, but I have never really grown this fast and I'm at 16,000 followers on TikTok and I literally just started my account like in the middle of quarantine. So that was like March. So it wasn't even a year to get that many. And I literally don't even have 16K on Instagram. So what I'm trying to say is that it's very easy for you to get followers on TikTok. And then those TikTok followers are most likely going to want to follow you on Instagram and other platforms, especially if you have it in your bio. So first of all, always link everything that you want people to see in your bio. Um, I have my YouTube and Instagram linked, you can do that. And you can also have a link in your bio. Sometimes I'll actually post my like to know it link there. So like to know it is kind of like this app where all of your favorite bloggers and Instagram influencers post their outfits and like they link to everything that they're wearing, like the exact things that they're wearing. I have gotten so many followers just by having that link in my bio 
um, because it, for example, like if a TikTok goes viral, people are just more likely to go to your profile and follow. This is the other thing. I think I talked about it in another vlog, but on Instagram, I personally don't go to my explore page, but on TikTok, I feel like I'm on my for you page more than I am my home feed. So it's so much easier to be found by new users. So I think it's so important to get on TikTok like today and start like making TikToks. And let me tell you, TikTok is not easy. I mean, I guess it depends on like what TikToks you're gonna do, but whenever I do my fashion ones, they take forever to film. And like, honestly, every other TikTok I've have made it just takes so long and i'm also not saying that every tiktok you make is gonna go viral so you really have to like stay consistent which is what i struggle with because sometimes it is discouraging if you're posting so many tiktoks and none of them are like getting on the for you page like the other ones did and you're asking yourself what did i do to make those tiktoks go viral and it's just so many like little things so you can use trending hashtags you can use trending sounds and what i found is the biggest thing that helps me go viral is sticking to my niche so for example, my first viral video, well, my first viral video was something like weird. It was me making kebabs and I think it was like, I think it went viral for the wrong reasons, but the second viral video was about my hair and I think I, I forget, oh, I was using the Revlon One Step and I feel like every Revlon One Step video goes viral first of all, but that one went super viral. So I started making like a couple of those videos. Um, I did the other Revlon hair dryer brush and then I did a lot about my hair and I feel like those were the ones that did so good. But it sucks though because I don't wanna be like in this box of just making hair TikToks. That's not really like what I wanna make TikToks about. So that's kind of like my issue right now because people followed me from those viral TikToks for hair content. That's where I'm struggling right now and that's what makes me kind of discouraged because the ones that aren't about my hair just don't do well. And so I'm just thinking like, okay, should I just make content all about my hair and just, you know, like make it do well, which like, yeah, that like that's easy to say and do, not do, <laughs> easy to say, but it's just like not something I wanna do. So I'm trying to like find another niche that I can get into. I definitely wanna get into more fashion videos, but no, there's no buts. There's just, I'm just trying to make up all the excuses I can think about because those do actually really well on my TikTok too. So, okay, this is just like a whole ramble, but seriously, just get on TikTok right now. End of story. Make an account and like actually post, not just like scroll. When I am scrolling, I will save TikToks that I want to create or I'll just text them to myself and that helps me on content creation days to just like see those TikToks, which ones I want to recreate and, you know, get going. But that's the other thing about TikTok is that it's really hard to batch content because these trending sounds and trending hashtags, well, you can always add the trending hashtags later, so that doesn't really matter, but especially like sounds, it's hard to like know what songs are going to like be in the low numbers and then like post them throughout the week cuz then it could have already hit a million, which like still you probably just post it. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this right, but basically if you use a sound or a hashtag, you can see how many videos are already under that hashtag. And basically you want to use those sounds and hashtags when they're not super viral, like at 1 billion videos, or you don't want it to be like 5,000 videos because you don't know if like it's taking off or not. So I would say stick around like 50K to like, you know, like right under a million videos and and you'll see it like at the top i'll try to like put a screenshot right here of what i'm talking about but this is really helpful just to find like kind of like those trending hashtags and sounds so that is my hack for right now i'll let you know if i come across any more while i'm creating these tiktoks but i gotta get to work i feel like it got so dark so fast it is currently 504 and i just got dressed because i'm gonna go to dinner got my cute little express coat on and then i have this silk shirt and it's like an oversized silk shirt. And then I'm wearing it with my sheer text tights and docks because I'm trying to like style my docks a little bit more because they were an expensive shoe and I want to get like my use out of them. But I'm just having such like trouble styling them just because I feel like my style isn't really that edgy and docks are like really edgy for me. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna head over to Ryan's house. I think we're gonna have dinner with his brother Mike and Mike's girlfriend Chandler. I... <laughs> Uh, funny story about the TikTok shit. <laughs> I literally made like one TikTok and this is what I'm saying. It's just hard I think my biggest thing with TikTok is that 
I just like do it over and over again because I'm just like, oh, that could be better. Like this color needs to be like this or like my face wasn't good in the first one and I just do it over and over and over. And that's what takes me so much time. So honestly, it may just be my issue, but I'm gonna head out the door because I feel like if I leave any later than now, I'm just gonna be so rushed. So I'm gonna talk to you guys later. It is 7 p.m. Unfortunately, we missed happy hour because it was literally like 50 something minutes away. Um, Cause we live in the suburbs of Atlanta and this place is like in Atlanta, Atlanta, but um, it was a nice drive. Just seeing like the city and stuff. I can get a damn autopilot to work though. Ryan's literally convincing <laughs> me that we're moving back here. And I'm trying to convince myself that it's gonna be okay. And then I'll like it, but I don't know. I just love Austin so much. And it's gonna be really sad. And I don't know when this is happening, but I feel like it's inevitable. So. I don't need to discussion, but I was just kind of decided. Ryan! <laughs> you make me mad. No. <laughs> Ryan's playing with this tester car. Was it autopilot that you were on? For the driving, but I don't know how to turn the steering on. I don't know how my phone to even do what. Um, oh yeah, he left his phone at home. But the autopilot is so jerky, and like it literally will make you like nauseous. Cause it's just obviously like if it sees a car, it like stops, which is cool. It's super cool, and like a really really smart idea. Okay, but then I was thinking, Ray, like it would be really nice to like have to for long road trips, but then you would have to charge it every. 200 miles or some shit, right? Yeah, we're on 60 miles empty right now. Yeah, I know. Are they here? Did it text you? Say they're here? 